Can we talk for a minute? Yes, I want to know your name. Can we talk for a minute? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Listen here. I was so impressed. Well, let me say, I was supremely impressed, not with the situation, but to see reality TV represent uh, what it should be. If you're going to do it, and how do we move forward from this situation? Y'all might be saying, what the hell are you talking about? Well, let me explain. Give me a minute. I Somebody sent me that uh, clip with Scrappy uh, from Love and Hip Hop and his mother and how he had an emotional pretty much breakdown of recalling how he grew up because you can't run from your upbringing. All that stuff comes out. The narcissism, the dysfunction, all of the things that we've experienced throughout our childhood. At some point it catches up with you and your mind is weary and your body is tired. And your thought process, you might want to know why I can't get it right or why am I always in a relationship that breaks up, you know, starts up again. Or why am I always arguing and repeating cycles that I've seen my mother or father and father do, and, you know, whatever, or my mom and her boyfriends, whatever that may be. There's just a lot of unfinished business. And for Scrappy to become as vulnerable as he was with those cameras being there and to talk about growing up in a trap house. Boy, I thought that was wonderful because the dysfunction and the things that we got to do to survive, you know, I'm not blaming anybody. I'm not, uh, actually, I'm not judging. Other than to say, when you put your kids in those kind of situations, and you have to live, uh, it doesn't matter if you have money, because an emotional star is something that needs to be healed. And that's regardless as to if you have money or if you don't have money. Your emotional state is so important. That's why I said, you know, and I had this conversation with one of mine the other day and and I mean it truly I love my daughter with all my heart but I told her had I known then what I know now would I have brought you into the world and a lot of times that answer is no okay now a selfish person would be like, yeah, I can have as many kids as I want to, and yada, 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 yada. When you have a child, your whole life becomes them. That's how, in my opinion, it should be. Almost like you're selfless. And most of us don't have that those kind of resources where we can provide. And then, even if we could, then something else is going to be missing. Like, I believe in Nick Cannon's children's. Boy, wait till they get to be teenagers. Y'all, um, that'll be something to see. The fact of the matter I'm trying to say is kids need a lot of emotional stability. And so when you grow up around narcissistic people, which most drug addicts are, uh, whorehouse type of environment, like Richard Pryor, can you see the damage? Can you see the vulnerability? Can you see the mistrust that you could have in adults and 
relationships because of how you grew up? I certainly can. I can see it very well. I really can. So I'm just saying, a lot of us need to really, really consider that because I think because so many people have children, they go, oh, that's easy to have a baby. Just go and do blah, 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 blah. Yeah, but the hard part really is providing for that child emotionally. Not just financially. Because that is a very good part of it. There's a lot of rich parents that can provide everything for their children. And you wonder why their children still come out jerks or end up committing suicide or whatever. And usually it's because something emotionally was lost. And maybe the parent had the baby for their own selfish reason. You know, not that I'm willing to commit everything to you. And that's why you about to come forth into this realm. Most people don't have babies like that. That was something they did years ago. Not not in this day and age. We just go, wham, wham, pam, pam, thank you, ma'am. Here we go. Okay? And we learn on the fly. So, but again, I want to thank him because I, I needed to see that. And I think a lot of people needed to see that from reality TV. When can you get to the heart of some matters and not just have people up there slapping on one another and throwing drinks and doing all types of, you know, just violent and re reprehensible type of shit for no apparent reason other than, you know, silliness. I think there's a cornerstone now for scrapping his mother to, uh, there's a standard now for them this process, for them to start to heal it. You know, because obviously the mother needs a lot of healing, and that's why he said, that's not my problem. I'm talking about what you did to me. You need to deal with them about what they did to you. And that's how we break this cycle of narcissistic abuse. That's how we break it. Okay, just a thought, people. Tell me what y'all think. And did you see it? What did you think about with him having that episode where he listened to his mother about his upbringing in a drug house and, you know, can't even sleep in his own room because people in there shooting up dope or having sex or whatever? Leave your comments below. And I'll see you in the next video.